Welcome to episode 19. Questions and answers are based on chapter 7 of the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Topic, Smoking. Choose the best answer. What is one advantage of using mechanical smokehouses or kilns for smoking? A. Less health risk to workers. B. Enhanced smoky flavor. C. Longer shelf life of smoked products. D. Reduced drying time for the fish. What is one advantage of using mechanical smokehouses or kilns for smoking? A. Less health risk to workers. What is the importance of using fresh fish for smoking? A. Fresh fish results in a smoky flavor. B. Fresh fish produces a soft and sticky product. C. Fresh fish has a longer shelf life after smoking. D. Low quality fish can result in an inferior product. What is the importance of using fresh fish for smoking? D. Low quality fish can result in an inferior product. What is the purpose of gutting and washing the fish before smoking? A. To remove excess salt from the fish. B. To remove microorganisms and enzymes. C. To enhance the texture of the fish. D. To prevent dripping. What is the purpose of gutting and washing the fish before smoking? B. To remove microorganisms and enzymes. Why is rinsing the fish after salting necessary? A. To remove excess water from the fish. B. To enhance the smoky flavor of the fish. C. To prevent swelling of the fish tissue. D. To remove excess salt from the fish surface. Why is rinsing the fish after salting necessary? D. To remove excess salt from the fish surface. What is the recommended temperature range of water for rinsing the fish during the smoking process? A. 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. B. 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. C. 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. D. 45 to 60 degrees Celsius. What is the recommended temperature range of water for rinsing the fish during the smoking process? A. 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. Why is drying the fish essential before smoking? A. For proper deposition of smoke on the fish. B. To prevent the deposition of smoke on the fish. C. To preserve the natural color of the fish. D. To enhance the texture of the fish. Why is drying the fish essential before smoking? A. For proper deposition of smoke on the fish. What are some examples of fuels that can be used for smoking? A. Hardwood, coconut husks, corn cob, sugar cane waste, and peanut husks. B. Charcoal, oil, gas, and electricity. C. Liquid smoke, wood pellets, sawdust, and bamboo. D. Coal, peat, leaves, and twigs. What are some examples of fuels that can be used for smoking? A. Hardwood, coconut husks, corn cob, sugarcane waste, and peanut husks. What factors need to be regulated during smoking? A. Temperature, relative humidity, and density of smoke. B. Moisture content, smoke flavor, and salting concentration. C. 
fish size, smoking tray arrangement, and drying method. D. Temperature, airflow, and drying time. What factors need to be regulated during smoking? A. Temperature, relative humidity, and density of smoke. What is the relationship between fuel moisture and smoke production? A. More smoke is produced with moist fuel. B. Less smoke is produced with moist fuel. C. The smoke production is not affected by fuel moisture. D. The type of fuel has a greater impact on smoke production. What is the relationship between fuel moisture and smoke production? A. More smoke is produced with moist fuel. If a salinometer is not available, what can be used to check the concentration of the saturated brine? A. Green guava or potato. B. Lemon or lime. C. Banana. D. Pandan leaves. If a salinometer is not available, what can be used to check the concentration of the saturated brine? A. Green guava or potato. Why is it important to cool the fish properly before packing? A. To enhance the smoky flavor. B. To prevent sweating, which favors bacterial or mold growth. C. To improve the texture of the fish. D. To extend the shelf life of the product. Why is it important to cool the fish properly before packing? B. To prevent sweating, which favors bacterial or mold growth. Why is milkfish processed into smoked soft-boned form? A. To utilize the whole fish. B. To remove the bones for easier consumption. C. To enhance the flavor of the fish. D. Due to consumer's preference. Why is milkfish processed into smoked soft boned form? A. To utilize the whole fish. Why is the milkfish wrapped in aluminum foil before pressure cooking? A. To prevent excessive loss of moisture. B. To speed up the cooking process. C. To enhance the smoky flavor. D. To protect the fish from burning. Why is the milkfish wrapped in aluminum foil before pressure cooking? A. To prevent excessive loss of moisture. In preparing tuna sticks, what should be done with skipjack tuna before smoking? A. Remove the head and fins. B. Prepare in loins. C. Boil in water for 4 hours. D. Split into 4 sticks. In preparing tuna sticks, what should be done with skipjack tuna before smoking? B. Prepare in loins. In preparing tuna sticks, what should be done with frigid tuna after smoking? A. Split into four sticks. B. Pack in wooden boxes. C. Resmoke for five to six hours. D. Boil in water for two hours. In preparing tuna sticks, what should be done with frigid tuna after smoking? A. Split into four sticks. What causes mold and bacterial spoilage in smoked fish? A. Low moisture content. B. High moisture content. C. High temperature during smoking. D. Long smoking duration. What causes mold and bacterial spoilage in smoked fish? B. High moisture content. Why is rapid cooling of the smoked product necessary? A. To enhance the flavor. B. To speed up the drying process. C. To prevent unnecessary spoilage. 
D to achieve a uniform color. Why is rapid cooling of the smoked product necessary? C to prevent unnecessary spoilage.